this is part of radicals and like doing this, although it's usually like Flip it over. Port or landscape way if you'd like. There we go. Twelve over seven. All right, that's a little messy. <laughs> All right, what about number two? Oops. The so little gift. Yeah. Okay, what about number two? I saw a lot of good how stuff on we, this one. Yeah, how do we split this up? What is this equal to? Six or sixteen. Okay, can we um, do maybe a step before that? So like split up the radical? We have a radical on top and a radical on bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So square root of 3, 6. Or square root of 7. And that would be equal to what? 6. 6 over? Because we can take this, okay. 25 times 3, 75. So 25 is per square for 5. 
All right, and today, now there's a rule, remember rule three, we have three rules for radicals. And rule three is that you can't have a radical in the denominator. So today we're gonna to talk about how to get that square root of three out of the bottom, out of your denominator, okay? Um, so then we're just gonna go over the last one really quick. Can somebody tell me what this one is? One, why is it one? Right. So it doesn't matter what we put in our parentheses here. As long as it's to the zero power, it's always going to be 1. OK? So we're just going to move on. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about rule 3. Can somebody tell me what the rules 1 and 2 are? Radicals. What's the first one? No perfect squares. What about number 2? You guys learned it yesterday. Can we have fractions in a radical? No, we can't. Okay, so we're going to start with an example. <laughs> we're going to do the let's see, 2, oops, 2 over the square root of 5. So now this violates rule number 3 because we can't have a radical in the denominator, correct? Yes. Okay, so in order to get rid of this radical, we have to multiply by a one. So what happens if we take a radical times a radical of itself? What do you think would happen if we did this? Yeah, you get the square root of 25, which is what? Five. Five, so would that get rid of our radical in the denominator? We just had five in the bottom. It's the square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is five, right? So we still have our, okay, we're gonna multiply this by square root of five over square root of five. Because if we have square root of five over square root of five, it's just one, right? And you can take anything times one, and it'll still be the same. So then, like Cornelius was saying, we get square root of 25 in the bottom. What do we get on top? Somebody who hasn't answered. Mariah? Do you know? Hmm? Not quite. The 2 is outside the radical, and the 5 is inside the radical. Hmm? It would be, somebody help her out? 2 squared is 5. Yeah, we just, like when we multiply them, and one's outside and one's inside, we just kind of stick them together. All right, so then this is equal to 2 squared is 5. And we can simplify the bottom to what again? Five. What do you think about this? Does it work for all of our rules? Are there perfect squares? No. Are there fractions underneath the radical? There's a fraction underneath the radical? No. Are there any radicals in the denominator? No, right? So it works, right? Simplify. All right. Let's go on. The next example is, sorry, mm -hmm. you guys are going to do this then for me. I'm just going to give you the number. Let me tell me what we have to do now. What is, what's our next step? Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's a 3 over square root of 3. Mm -hmm. 
So it's three, yeah, three divided by three. This is all just equal to. Now you write it just like that. Mm -hmm. Because these two cancel out. So you have to go there. You can. I mean, it, it's still the same problem. So, um, okay. Our last problem that we're going to do before we start the worksheet. This is kind of what we learned yesterday. What is our first step going to be here?
So you have the fork previously, and then you have a time another four, right? This is this fork. This is equal to four times four. So four times four this is. This would be two thirds. I'm going to come back up here before I get down here. So this would be two thirds, and this would be four over mm -hmm. time. Start with four is two. So no, you have two. Okay. But so what this actually ends up being. So basically, you're going to talk to the square root of two. Over the square root of two. Rewrite the square root of two. Oh, no, not the square root of two. Just four, right? Now, you need 16 is just four. So there's no square root of two is simplified. Square root of three is simplified. But the rule that we're breaking is there's no square root of four. So the way that you do that. Is by multiplying the square root four. of 16 divided by itself is one right here. Right. We're changing the value yeah, of the so when you take fraction at all, there's my no radical left. left. So it's this will four. allow us, mm -hmm. sorry, so to get the square four times root of six. Divided by four. Are you with me? No over the square root four of three. times four. Which simplifies to the square root of six over three. Four this times. is your answer. There's right. nothing that says you can't have a radical in the numerator. So we can check that then. You just can't have square root of so this is 16. Correct. Now here, you're violating that rule, which that's okay. Well, we'll get there back now. So you do beautifully yeah. simplify that, and you need to. So that's awesome. Don't forget this is a square root of five. Same thing. We're going to multiply it by one. You see how that's equal to one, and you can divide it by itself as one. So what is square root of five times two square root of two? Okay. Two square root of you have a square root of 16 times 16, so there's two 16. Two times two is, so put the four there. Like, I regular four, so that two there. Four times four? A four right here in the two. And what's the square root of two times four? Four times four is good. So this equals, as we can simplify, two square root of So we can check 16 squared is what? That's it. Nope, we're done. Because we square root of four is two, which takes it out of the radical. So that's how you get rid of it. So now you don't have any rules being broken. You don't have a fraction under your radical. You don't have a radical in the denominator. Then you can't simplify your radicals on any part of that. That's correct. Okay. So, okay, when you have a fraction on any of terms, you're going to split it so they can have to be put together. Just give it a If they're different, like just a this. You can't, so just, get you can't do it this. You guys simplify this. So you understand this is going to end up being 3 square root of 3. Yeah. And this will end up being yeah. 5 square root of 3, which will give you right. so 8 now square root of 3. You, run the you don't understand? Yeah, you can't have a radical on the bottom, right? Because that's what we're going to put 3. So how do you get rid of the radical on the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. It's just 16. When you have this, mm -hmm. it's just 16. It's the square same reason why yeah. mm -hmm. the square root of 400 is 20. Because 20 times 20 is 400. Yeah, square root of 256 is 16. Just like the square root of 36 is 6. That's the reason why. So you just put that. So square root of 2 times square root of 3 is 6. That's good. So let's look at something like this. You know this is 5 over, this would be 20. So the reason it's that way is because we can break it up like this. Well, square root of six is going to be simplified. Can you take it? This is square root of seven. So it's just going to say square root of six. Okay. Well, when you see this, you can't stop there. See here, um, you can stop because you clear everything. But here, no, you're right. Because our rule is that you can't have radicals. So the way you do that is by multiplying it by itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put a multiplication symbol. And on the bottom, of, we're going to make a new fraction. Okay. On the bottom, we're going to put square root of three. And on the top, we're going to put the square root of 3. Because we want to multiply by okay, 1. Okay, so basically, on, on the inside, inside one, if we, we multiply by anything but one, 1, 1, we change the value of the fraction. Okay, but so anything that we multiply by 1 we'll stays on itself. Okay. So now we're just going to multiply across regular fractions. So, yeah, okay. square root so this should be 2 minus square root of 3. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, I see what you did. What's the square root of 3 times? And then square root of 25 is about 25. Or what's the square root of 25? Right. Five. So that should be five. And that's it. So now you're not breaking rule number one that we talked there about is no mm -hmm. perfect square factors. We're good. Rule because number two we talked about is no fractions. Square this and have 25. Well, we're good. So rule number three was no radicals in the denominator. Check that one off too. Makes sense. So, you want to try that 
These are the same thing. So how do we get through that? You that. And the, well, we're, what are we going to multiply the bottom by to get rid of that square root three? Well, we got to do that on the top too. We can't. You bet. Okay, so this is simple. Right. Get going. So the bottom is You can't. You're right. There's no rational bottom. Yes. And now, can you do anything with the 15 and 3? That's it. So then yeah, of course you can just fill out the wall. Yeah. You're making it one bone once you get rid of the one bone, just leave it in. You don't want to make it any more complicated than that. And then you can just get the five and bottom. You use like ten passes. Means I'm not boring you too much, and then I'm not even on my class. Kaylee, you're in charge of the thermostat. Hello. So what is that? <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 